Hello, hello, hello. Dirty trucking, dirty trucking. Uh, going down memory lane, making my own documentary. And uh, in case y'all don't believe that I did, I had a car that was stolen. I had a uh, Buick Century, a car I got from being in a program here that the city had that if you finished the program, they would give you a voucher to, with the money to go towards the purchase of a car. I got a car and it was a golden four-door Buick Century. Nice, nice little car. So, let me tell you, I'm at the place here. I just dropped, I just brought somebody here. I'm at a place where they stole that car. And I'm, it's the travel in right here on Harper and Connors. I'm going to get out and show you. Because this is what they were doing. Every car I had, they, 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 they were stealing. They were stealing them. That's why I wasn't in no hurry to get no car. This place to travel in right here. It's located on... Harper and Connors. When me and my son was still going through that homeless shit because of Warren Truck Plant, you know, we was trying to make it. I was living in hotels weekly rates. So, and this was one of them. We came out there in Mount Clemens. We stayed in here. And I remember I was over there on the other side of that fence. I pulled in here, a red car pulled up behind me. And something about that car, I just, just had a bad feeling. Because I had my laptop and, and all my school stuff in here. I was still going to school at the time. And uh, something told me to get the laptop out the trunk. So I got it out and took it upstairs. So my friend, a friend of mine I went to high school with, came to visit me. And she was going to bring me some money. And she pulled up. She said, Juanita, where's your car? I said, it's parked over there by the fence. It was over there on that far fence over there. The far fence closest to Connors. He said, either I must be tripping because I don't see your car. So, I was up here, staying on the second floor up here. And I remember when I checked in here, checked in, they told me what day to made clean. And I'm in the room doing my uh, homework, schoolwork. And for some reason, that particular, this is the day she wasn't supposed to be up there. The maid was hitting the vacuum cleaner up against my door. And I didn't know what was going on about it. I'm in there doing schoolwork until my friend pulled up here and asked me, where's my car? And I stepped out the room, big bay windows right there, so I could see it a lot. I didn't see my fucking... So, my son it was still going to school. I called him, asked him, did he see the car when he came down. Around 7 a.m., he saw the car. But so, after that, I don't know when it disappeared, because I was in there doing my schoolwork. So when, this is the lot, travel in right here. When I came down uh, to meet my friend, she... Uh, Drove me up there on Grasher to the Detroit police station. And the officer at the desk, I was reporting the car stolen. Went to ask, uh, He asked me for to see my ID. You could imagine the shock on my face when I opened my wallet and my driver's license was gone. So not only did they steal that car, but while me and my son was asleep up in that room, I'll never forget it. We were asleep in the room. Somebody came in that room and took my driver's license out my fucking wallet. I kid you not. This is the travel in right here on Harper and Connors. I had a golden Buick Century through a program the city of Detroit was offering here. If you finish a work program here back in the day, they would assist you in getting a car, and which they did. They assisted a friend of mine. She helped put a little more money on it so I can get the car, and I paid her back for it. But during my homeless days, because of Warren Truck Plan, I was still struggling with my homeless days trying to find places to stay me and my son was doing a weekly rate we came here and they stranded us when they stole that car i had all my belongings microwave every damn thing we were stranded i had to call the cab and go somewhere else with all my shit in the back of that cab this is why i didn't have cars with no hurry to get, get a car i got that car from red skin auto right there on grasher never forget it, it was a nice car clean buick century stole it then uh, the officer called me. Uh, no, I got in touch with I think I called the police department. They had actually found it. The tow truck company or somebody found it. And uh, they asked me did I want to come see it. Found out they had took the engine out of it and a dough off. I'll be damned. But it happened right here. Fucking travel in. I'll never forget this place. Had my car sitting over there. Went through that homeless shit because a worn truck plant in Michigan didn't let my court case be heard. These motherfuckers stole my car and stranded me and my son at this motherfucking place. This dirty trucker making my own documentary. I don't need nobody to tell my shit. I can tell it for myself.